the coronavirus infection does not seem to be ending yet. In view of the prevailing situation, experts have warned of a more severe third wave. After the devastation caused by the second wave, it is natural for people to worry about if and when this third wave will come and how it will affect their lives. A team of researchers led by Professor Mahindra Verma and Professor Rajesh Ranjan of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, have been continuously monitoring the coronavirus pandemic and have also prepared a mathematical model of coronavirus wave forecast using detailed data of the second wave. They have made the results available to the public via a website developed by them. On the website, covid19forecast.org, district-wise details of the coronavirus infection, its impact, mortality and end stage can be checked. Based on this mathematical model, the scientists have predicted when the third wave will come. We actually use the data from the second wave to make predictions for the third wave. Now the main assumption there is that we take the unlocking date on 15th of July. And 15th July we have the situation like it was in January. So with that, if we consider the para epidemic parameters from the second wave, we find the peak to happen uh, around in October. Now we simulate a second situation where we increase the reproduction number that is the virus mutates and it becomes uh, more and more infectious. So when we increase the reproduction number by 5% we find that uh, the peak comes early around September and the peak height is much higher than the second wave. And then we simulate a third scenario where we uh, basically decrease the reproduction number by 5% and uh, that is to uh, take a situation where the people uh, comply with the COVID protocols much stricter than what they were doing in January and uh, what we see is that uh, the peak comes much late in November and the peak height is also much smaller than the second wave. In the context of a third wave of COVID-19, this SIR model observes the current infection status, comparison of previous year and this year's peaks, daily case fatality rate and daily testing data. Vaccination data, which may make the results more positive, has not yet been added to this model. We should try to go to the scenario 3, which is uh, like the peak happening in November. So we can utilize this time from uh, current period uh, until the November to vaccinate as many people as we can. And that will definitely help us in uh, lowering the peak. The model prepared by the IIT scientists provide accurate information about coronavirus infection to the general public. Based on the data, the public can prepare prevention techniques after assessing the situation properly. However, in light of this forecast and according to what experts say, it is important that we are extremely careful even as unlocking begins so that the infection can be eliminated completely. Carelessness on our part can make the third wave even more lethal than anticipated.